They're literally trying innocent people as witches. When we get a witch, I like to pop her on the fire. Obviously, that has some comic potential. It's hilarious. It's mad and it's brilliant. Just a beautiful piece full of love, <laughs> comedy, <laughs> tragedy. He's quite dead. There's so much in there. Yeah, it's as fun as you can imagine it would be. I'm going to leave it at that because uh, I don't want to ruin it. But yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> I think this project's been going on for like seven years, but my God, you can see all those seven years of work into this. It's so brilliantly written. It's so brilliantly written, and I think it's it's really different, and it's like the debut of the Gibbons brothers. Uh, their work on Partridge, and also I've got their um, books that they wrote, that they ghost wrote for Alan Partridge, uh, I Partridge and Nomad on audiobook, and those are brilliant and hilarious, and I was just such a big fan. <laughs> I thought that's a no-brainer. And now it's their time to do their own thing. They're obviously really revelling in that world and finding the humour in it, but also because it is such an interesting, dark terrain, they can sort of flip it for a moment and, you know, go somewhere slightly different emotionally. If you can stand here now and tell me that you think I'm a witch, I will change my plea to guilty. So do you. Do you think I'm a witch? I just found it thrilling that two such great writers, comedy writers, had found such entertaining, real entertaining comedy um, and kind of pathos and politics um, and, you know, point in, 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 in that era. I think it's a really interesting story. I mean, it's an interesting period. I haven't seen much about the sort of 17th century, you know, um, witch infested England. If it was a, a big sort of Netflix drama, it'd be interesting, I think. There's, there's so much there. We must hurry. Cumberledge, off. Give the horse a fighting chance. This is the first time I've kind of been involved in a project that's based around comedy and everything like that. It's probably the main reason why I got into acting. I loved making people laugh. I'd laugh, I mean, I'm, I'm laughing right now. And the writing's incredible. I mean, Neil and Rob are just insane. Like, they, <laughs> just the stuff that they come up with literally on the day and a day before and all this stuff, it's it's crazy. I don't even know my master's I birthday. Don't. I don't. junior -y. It just It just grabbed my attention as soon as I read it. As soon as I read, actually, Come Village's uh, character breakdown just how descriptive it was and how interesting it was. It was, it's definitely, it's the first time I've played a character like Cumberledge, so it's exciting.